Am I the asshole? For lying to my GF about having a child? My brother passed away five years ago. He has a sister who was nine at the time. Let's call her Nora. My other brother became Nora's legal guardian but she ended up living with me most of the time and we got closer. She is like a daughter to me and even though I'm not her legal guardian everyone in our family has accepted me as her dad. I started dating my GF about a year ago and told her that I have a daughter. I didn't go into details that she is not mine I just wanted her to know that Nora and I are a package deal. I introduced her to Nora about 4 months ago and they do not get along. Nora is not an easy kid to get along with and my GF lacks patience. A few days ago she found out that Nora is actually not mine and freaked out. She called me an asshole for lying to her and forcing her to tolerate and spend time with that annoying kid who isn't even mine I told her that Nora is mine and kicked her out of my home for insulting my child in my home. I have been getting texts from her friends who all think I'm an asshole. Not the asshole. Biological father or not, legal guardian or not, you are responsible for Nora and it's part of your job to advocate for her, which is exactly what you were doing. You owe no one an explanation of the true nature of your relationship with Nora. Not the asshole. The context being that if she'd known the whole time that Nora wasn't biologically yours, she wouldn't have been trying to get along with her, is all you need to know. No, you are not the asshole. Biology doesn't make a parent. You told her you are a package deal in the beginning and then proved it to her. No argument needed. Not the asshole, doesn't matter if Nora is your biological child or not, she is your daughter in your eyes, her eyes and your family's eyes. Sounds like you need a new GF. You're not the asshole. It is a bit weird that you never explained this situation more in a year of dating. But that really is irrelevant compared to the scale of your GF's RNS. Hopefully you meant XGF. Info have you never mentioned your brother who passed to your GF? Not the asshole. Even if it was a little weird that you didn't get into the details at all for an entire year, that should have no bearing on your GF tolerating your daughter, good god. Info why didn't you share your bio relationship with GF for a year? How did you keep her from friends and family members who knew? Sorry but that's not tracking for me. How did you explain where Nora's bio mom was? I find this very hard to believe. Over the course of a year, your girlfriend never asked about Nora's mother or anything? How could you not have ever told her the whole story? Info what do you mean by difficult to get along with? Are we talking, like, shy and reserved? or downright cruel? What have you done to try and facilitate a relationship between your GF and Nora? Not the asshole. Ditch the girlfriend. Sh, she's obviously violent the way bigger are. But how the hell do you date someone for a year without telling them the situation? That would seem very bizarre to me, and like you were intentionally hiding it or hiding something else. Like it just literally never came up that she's your brother's daughter and he passed away. Not the asshole. Your biological relationship with your daughter is no one's business. You sound like a great dad and it's good you learned so early on that this ex wasn't a good match with you and your daughter. Not the asshole. Whether or not your daughter is biologically shouldn't matter on how your GF treats and gets along with her. And to freak out about it is a huge red flag. But I'm curious why you never discussed the details of how she became your daughter. Didn't your GF ever asked where the mother is? Considering you introduced them to each other, I would think the relationship is far enough along to share some pretty important facts. Especially after a year. Esh your GF for insulting your kid, but you for lying and also apparently not helping the situation between them. It really matters what you mean by Nora is a difficult child to get along with. Is she badly behaved and rude to your GF or does she just not want a relationship your GF was trying to force? Not the asshole, you may not be legally her parent, but you are raising her and that makes you her parent guardian. Your girlfriend ex, 
sucks. Not the asshole taking everything into consideration this should be a deal breaker for your relationship with this woman. Most 14 yos are annoying and hard to get along with. Not the asshole and she's out of line. Her friends are further out of line. But WTF? How did this not come up in a year of dating or even friendship? And, um, if you introduce me to your daughter niece, I'd want a heads up about major trauma that I need to avoid triggering. Your dad and I are thinking of getting burgers after the movie He's My Uncle, My Dad Died Five Years Ago and Runs Off Hysterically Sobbing. Not a good scene. Info you started your post explaining the situation to thousands of strangers, so why didn't you just explain it to your GF like that? This might have helped her understand why Nora acts out. ESH it's a beautiful thing you did taking in your niece, and fair play to you for considering her your own daughter. But you've been with your girlfriend for a year and never told her the truth about it. You can be upfront about the situation whilst still being firm that she's part of the deal and not going anywhere. It's possible your girlfriend felt a blindsided and deceived and reacted out of that. However ultimately if she's not willing to accept Nora then the two of you aren't compatible. Did you know how your girlfriend felt about your daughter for all of the four months? Wow. You are not the asshole but that chick you're dating is a massive one. She's telling on herself. Pay attention. She's showing you who she is. I think it's great that you are having such a positive impact in Nora's life. However, you're the asshole for not fully disclosing the nature of your relationship with her up front. You withheld important information from your girlfriend, that she could have used to make a decision about whether or not to continue the relationship with you. You're the asshole, for not being honest and upfront in the first. You can tell people the truth and let them know you and Nora are a package deal. Not the asshole for kicking your GF out for saying nasty things about Nora. Since you are a package deal she can either accept it or moron. Not the asshole for lying by omission, I guess. If you consider her yours, she's yours. But I find it hard to believe that within a year of dating you never talked about taking this girl in. Your girlfriend never asked about the mother at least. This is a huge part of your story and might also explain why Nora has issues. Also, what is it with friends and family texting someone's partner calling them an asshole? Why does this keep happening to people on here? I have never ever heard of this happening in real life. Someone needs to love and take care of your niece why not you? Maybe down the road, things will get more complicated regarding school applications where a legal guardian needs to be identified and sign so you may want to get that fixed so that you either adopt or change the legal guardian to you. As for girlfriends and relationships, there are other fish in the sea you did the right to big about your ex by standing with Nora. Not the asshole.